Do it again, called another from the crowd. Yes, let's see it. Arthur put his hands around the golden handle. With one tug, the blade slid out. Who are you? called another voice. What's your name? Arthur, said the lad. Wait a minute. Put that sword back. A tall knight pushed forward from the crowd. Anyone can pull it out once it's been pulled. Go ahead, put it back, son, said a voice. It was the Duke of Cornwall, the one who had called for the tournament. All right, said Arthur. He slipped the blade back into the stone with ease. Let me at that now, said the tall knight. He jumped up and grabbed the handle of the sword, but pulled and tugged as he might. The sword would not move, not even a bit. Another knight tried, then another, but no one could move the sword. Some waited, thinking the longer they pulled the sword, the looser it would get. But when each man took their turn, the sword did not move for them. Let the lad try now, said the Duke of Cornwall. Arthur, go ahead. Arthur stepped up to the stone again. In one motion, he freed the sword. This time, he held it high above his head. The blade flashed in the sun. Amazed, the crowd did not know what to think. One called out at last, He must be our new king. We have a king, called another. At last. Stop, shouted the tall knight. Do you really think this skinny boy should rule over all of us? Yes, said a voice. All eyes turned around. It was Merlin the magician. I know this boy. I know his heart. There is no one in England who has a heart that is bigger and stronger than his.